Sue Victoral. How's everybody doing today? Amazing. I hope it is rainy as I'm filming this in Vancouver, but what else is new? Um, today we are doing a better late than never, and we're going to be playing with Artist Couture's Caliente palette, and we are going to be trying some brushes from Eco Tools. So those are, I hear really good things about this. Um, when the when Artist Couture came out, I heard some really good things, and uh, yeah, we can talk about how I got these items and um, how I how they worked to get this look. If that's something that you're interested in, you're in the right place and you need to keep on watching. Hey, are we ready for a better late than never? We are going to be playing with the Artist Couture Caliente palette. So Poshmark Canada had its third birthday. I think in the US it was its fifth birthday. And I have sold a thing, bought a few things on Poshmark, and I won a $30 credit. So I was able to get this palette, and then I've already unpacked it, but I, ha I also got these five EcoTool brushes that came in this cute little tray. Apparently you can build a little setup, you can get little cups and stuff to go in there, but I thought this would be a good dirty brush tray. So, and this is the first time I've tried EcoTool brushes. I think I've tried sponges before, but never brushes. So I thought it can be a better late than never trying these EcoTools that everybody says are really, really good. And then trying the Caliente palette by Artist Couture, which I believe is by a makeup artist. It has a magnetic pan. Um, the mirror has the name written on there. So it's got magnets there. And then this, here, let's do it this way. This is the color story here. So very caliente. We've got some oranges and some pinks and some bright yellows. We've got a gold. So this is a beautiful spicy palette. So I thought we could play with that today. So as I'm getting ready to go to work, I thought we could do a quick look and test the brushes and then test out how that is. So we can start by, I was thinking, is it this one here? Oh, yes, this one here would maybe be good for putting on eye primer. So I thought we'd try that. I thought they were all small, small brushes looking at the photo, but it was three smaller ones. So these are the ones that I will probably like the most and then two bigger, floofier ones like that. So let's shake up our eye primer. And then hopefully the lighting isn't too bad. I had hoped it was early enough that I didn't need any other type of light, but I did. So the lights are sometimes a little weird in the morning. So. So I hope everybody is doing well. It is Wednesday when I'm filming this. I get to go to work and then I need to go. I'm going to get a night guard because apparently I'm grinding my teeth. And I thought maybe I could stop at Sephora later because I need, I've almost got my skincare regime set up that of permanent items that I want. I have a couple little bits that I'm finishing off but that I'm out of um, one or two things in the ordinary and inky list so I thought maybe I could pick up a few things since I'm going to be near Sephora. I don't live near one so since I'm in, going to be in town why not. Okay so before we get too far here let's start playing with a look. I'm going to take this little brush here and then I'm going to dip. They do have names in back. When I figure out kind of how they, they sit in order, I will pop them on the screen. But we're gonna go with this brown shade there. Oh, sorry if I'm flashing you with the mirror. And then we're gonna go like so. There is a teeny bit of kick up in the pan, but it picks up quite nicely right away back onto the brush. So that is good. And then let's do this to get ourselves a nice darker out of outer corner. So this palette um, is normally $40 Canadian at on the Sephora website. Though they say it's a limited edition, it is still available on the Sephora website as of yesterday. So 
He's got a few other palettes. Again, I'll remember to try and link the makeup artist's name there. So anyways, I had won that $30 gift certificate. So our, on the account, I've got lash glue on. I thought I'd go like snoop around. And then one of the things I need, I needed some more teeny brushes. I've discovered that I'm really liking working with really small brushes. So maybe I'll use that, this one here. It's pretty, it's an interesting shape. I think this would be almost more for concealer, I think. But let's just use this to blend out because I'm just going to use the, these brushes and none other for today's look. Just see if we can blend that out a little. So anyways, I won that $30 thing and then I was kind of looking at some of the stuff that I had on the likes and I was trying to see how much I could get with just the coupon and not have to pay any extra cash and so then I thought oh yeah I need brushes so I went and started looking at brushes and then I saw this gal she was selling oh lash glue is the devil man um she was selling these eco tool brushes along with this little palette so I put it on my like list um I think, I want to say it was $25 plus $13.99 shipping, which is, or $13.95, something like that, which is the general um, cost for Poshmark in Canada for shipping, unless they have a shipping deal. Seriously, lash glue everywhere. Um, and uh, yeah, so anyway, so that's the normal thing. So I put a like on it and then I was, you know, surfing around and then I kind of went to do something else film a video or something and then I got a message that um giving me an offer where from 25 to 22 dollars and then 9.99 shipping so it cost me 32.49 and so my coupon was 30 dollars so I paid two dollars and 49 cents for this palette which is not was never been used and the eco tools which had also never been used so there we've got the darkest shade there. So it seems to blend really, really nicely. We can go and of course add more color later if we need to, but I think that's looking pretty good. So now using that same brush, I'm just going to quickly clean it off on my little towel here. And then let's go over to, yeah, let's use the orange and oranges and yellows, I think. So let's next go into this right there this orangey shade there let's pop that into the middle let's see how that looks well, that's really pretty yeah these brushes are definitely going to be more for more detail like small bits which I like for inner corners and darkening outer corners and the bigger brushes for blending but these are really nice as well so that's really pretty and caliente hot don't buy a lot of um, eyeshadows at the you know brands that are sold at Sephora I do mostly indie but um, this is pretty nice so I'm not upset with this at all And then for the inner, let's take, yeah, let's go with the yellow shade there, that nice bright yellow. I'm going to take this slightly smaller brush so that way I can get into the corner of my eye and we can test all the brushes. Testing a yellow is a good color to test in a palette because I find that yellows can be either really good or really bad. And this one isn't, I mean, it looks a little bit brighter, but it looks almost more, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a sun yellow, but darker, you know, sometimes when the sun gets, maybe when it's a bit lower in the sky, it gets a slightly darker yellow. That looks nice. A little sunsetty eye there. And 
And then for the bottom lash line, let's add some of the pinks. So we'll go and take the darker pink on the outer edge and then the lighter pink on the inner edge. Try to use as many colors as we can. So you could do a pinky look, you could do a, I guess like a burnt orange and yellow. We can get a few looks out of this palette. I don't, I don't think it's super, super versatile, but you can definitely mix these with some other palettes as well. And then we'll go into that lightest pink. So it looks that it is, there's eight shades in here and it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five of them are mattes and then three of them are shimmers. I think that's a pretty good ratio. And you have a, a gold and orange and then a kind of a peachy shade. A little bit more of a dark on the outer edge. All right. And then for inner corner, I'm going to use that gold shade there. That's really nice. We're very colorful today. Like that. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this peachy shimmer here. We're going to put that onto the middle. And then let's grab this kind of flattish little teeny brush. These are really cute. So I've been wanting some smaller brushes. So three small ones in here, I think, are going to get some good use. But Again, we're just trying to play with this a little bit. Okay, it definitely will take too long using that little one, so I'm just gonna pop it in with my finger. This is very pretty. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go put my base on. I'm going to go and maybe deepen the edge a little bit and blend a bit. Maybe put some eyeliner on and we will be back for some final. Okay, so we are back and this is the final look playing with the Caliente palette. So I just put on my base. I've been playing with the Danessa Myricks. I finally tried her technique of using a brush. I definitely like it better with a sponge. But there we go. But that's a different video. And uh, yeah, so this is our eye look here. And uh, let's first go with the brushes. So the brushes, they're good. They're really nice and soft. They do their job. The handles are a little short. I wish they were a little bit longer. Um, and I really, really do like these small ones. They're definitely gonna be more for detail work, but it was just fun playing with them. And then let's talk about the Caliente palette. So I never know on the back how the colors are supposed to go, if they go this way or that way or whatever. But I thought we could really quickly swatch the palette and then we will swatch it, of course, from left to right and then, whoops, left to right. I mean, it's on camera. So, so I just thought we could do a really quick set of swatches. So there's the yellow. There is that beautiful orange shade. And then we've got this pink one. And then we got the gold shimmer there. And it, which has like a orange, more orangey, doesn't it? When you swatch it. Oh, let me get my towel here. And then for the bottom row, and then we've got the other one, which is a darker orange, like so. And then there's that peachy shimmer here, like 
that. Then we have that the darker pink. These swatch really nicely actually. And then finally that kind of brown shade. Uh, it's like a layer. So that's the shades there. And then if I read them from if I'm going to do if I'm just gonna do the back and I'm gonna do the same thing left to right, and hopefully that matches the colors. The yellow would be cultura. The second one would be Fuego, and that makes sense. Then there's Vibris, then Margarita. Then on the bottom row, we had Rumba, which would be, hold on, one, two, three. Yeah, would be starting from here. Oops, whoop, doo, 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 there, so we've got Rumba, um, Brillo, Mamacita, and then the, the brownish shade is Sensual. So that is that. So there we go, I like it. Um, just to anchor a little bit, I put a little black liner in the waterline, did some a wing, a little mascara, but I think this is cute. I mean, I'm just trying to play with all the colors, but they blend really nice. I took the, uh, the last shimmer that we didn't use and I just put a little, little touch on the outer edge. But anyways, this is my first play with the Artist Couture and I really like it. I mean, I have to play more with it, but for just a quick look while I'm getting ready to work at the computer at home, I think this is okay. So anyways, if you'd like to give us a like, comment and subscribe and maybe hit that notification bell, it'd be greatly appreciated. If not, that's okay. We can still be friends. We can still um, try out products better late than never. Have a fantastic day, make good choices, and we will talk to you soon. Okay, bye!